We're proposing changes to volume one and two of the NCC to improve the robustness of performance solutions for both fire safety and structural components of buildings. These changes aim to address issues stemming from the absence of quantified performance requirements for both of these components. They'll enhance the robustness of performance solutions, leading to safer buildings for occupants. In addition, these changes will give users of the NCC greater certainty that they're meeting the performance requirements. Developing performance solutions is one of the ways practitioners can meet the performance requirements of the NCC. This supports innovation by designers and allows them to determine the most effective and innovative way to demonstrate compliance for their particular building. Let's start by looking at the proposed changes that aim to improve performance solutions for structural components. As part of our ongoing work to quantify the performance requirements, we propose to introduce a new structural quantification framework for the next edition of the NCC. The focus of this framework is to set minimum performance levels for components made of new and innovative materials, as well as alternative forms of construction. This will encourage innovation and give practitioners more confidence that performance solutions that they develop meet the minimum requirements of the NCC. To improve the robustness of performance solutions, we're further proposing to remove the expert judgment assessment method in part A of the NCC to demonstrate compliance for structural performance solutions. Expert judgment is an NCC assessment method that allows the judgment of an expert someone with the relevant qualifications and experience, to determine whether a performance solution complies with the performance requirements. In removing this assessment method, the aim is to prevent practitioners from setting levels of public safety solely at their own discretion. This will also help produce more robust outcomes, leading to improved occupant safety. The expert judgment assessment method will remain available for performance solutions to other parts of the NCC except fire, which remain unaffected. We collaborated with key stakeholders and academics, as well as our peak technical committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC, to determine the best way to quantify the performance requirements and improve structural performance solutions. To improve the robustness of performance solutions for structural components of buildings, we're proposing the following changes. Firstly, we're proposing to add new minimum levels of reliability that must be achieved when demonstrating compliance of structural components through a performance solution. You'll find this in B1P12 in Volume 1 and H1P12 in Volume 2. Secondly, we propose to absorb performance requirement B1P2 into new performance requirement B1P14 in Volume 1 for structural resistance. We'll also amend the structural reliability verification method to account for combinations of actions rather than individual actions only. This is in B1V1 in Volume 1 and H1V1 in Volume 2. Finally, as mentioned on the previous slide, we propose to remove expert judgment as an assessment method for structural performance solutions, A2G2. The structural performance requirements in Part B1 of Volume 1 and Part H1 of Volume 2 have been quantified in terms of a reliability index for individual components. This gives a relative measure of confidence that the structural component will perform its function safely. The minimum values which have been included in the NCC are set to a level within the range of typical values across the reference standards to include the most common outcomes. These values are proposed to form the minimum requirements of the NCC. We're proposing only one change in the area of fire safety, that is to remove expert judgment as an assessment method in A2G2 in both Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the next edition of the NCC. The purpose of removing expert judgment is to increase the robustness of building solutions in this safety critical area and to reduce subjectivity. The aim is to improve occupant safety through producing more robust outcomes. We engage with key stakeholders to determine the best way to improve fire safety performance solutions. This included considering changes to the NCC, 
or developing updated non-mandatory guidelines for practitioners through the Australian Fire Engineering Guidelines, or AFEG. In developing these changes, we consulted with members of our peak technical committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC, and the following key stakeholders. The Society of Fire Safety, the Institute of Fire Engineers, the Australian Institute of Building Surveyors, and the National Council for Fire and Emergency Services. The Fire Safety Quantification Framework, referred to as A8 for the proposal for NCC 2022, will not be introduced into NCC 2025. Instead, it will be placed in the AFEG as a voluntary framework for practitioners to consider as part of their project. The intent is to let the framework grow and mature in the AFEG, and then possibly move it to the NCC at a later stage. These amendments will improve the robustness of performance solutions, support industry innovation, and give users of the NCC greater certainty that they are meeting the performance requirements. Practitioners undertaking structural performance solutions will need to utilise the quantification framework to demonstrate compliance with the performance requirements. Practitioners undertaking performance solutions for either fire safety or structural components will no longer be able to use the expert judgment assessment method. This means that for structural components, practitioners must use the quantification approach to determine reliability indices. For both structural and fire safety performance solutions, practitioners must use another assessment method. Removing expert judgment as an assessment method will not prevent practitioners from applying their own professional judgment. This remains feasible under other assessment methods or when using the types of evidence of suitability outlined in Part A5 where appropriate. These amendments will increase the fire resistance of buildings and improve structural safety. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1 May to 1 July 2024. We look forward to your input.